Texas LS. And as, as it says in this bit of history, it, was, it is very much overlooked rear engine car produced by BMW, various models from uh, 1959 to 1965. This was the first BMW with a monocoque structure that uh, gives that extra torsional rigidity. And they raced them quite a bit. They were very suited, obviously, with the rear engine, rear wheel drive, they got a lot of traction. Um, so fascinating that the Lexus LS. 188,000 were sold before production ended in 1965. The engine is actually an air-cooled boxer. That's like a Porsche engine, the horizontally opposed engine, about 700 cc, hence the name the 700. So, quite a, a, a different diversion from the BMWs we all know of nowadays, with sort of six cylinders and V10s in the front. So rear-engined boxer twin cylinder, 700 cc, only 32 horsepower. But quickly followed by a, a car that really came out, the big change in BMWs from engine rear-wheel drive. Uh, this is a classic BMW 2002 TII. And um, this is the first BMW to come out with mechanical fuel injection. I think the owner's lowered it slightly, unless he's got a load of gold bullion in the boot, he's robbed the bank, because it's sitting quite squatly. Um, and they're wonderful cars at the beginning of the rear-wheel drive BMWs, which I own the 323i, and nowadays you've got the 3 Series, the M4s, which uh, I drive around Thruxton taking passenger rides, because I advertise my own work, yeah, why not? If you want to come to Thruxton, I'll take you around in a BMW M4 sideways, 140 miles an hour, a great fun thing. Hey, well, for me anyway, it might scare the hell out of you. So, <laughs> anyway, the BMW 2002, one of many wonderful BMWs on show with their car club in the main showground. Hear any of that? Does that be useful later? 2000. 